people are already swamping towards getting small cars and small mobility vehicles and if there is no subsidy or if there is no push given by the government towards electric the chances are they could steer towards ic engine uh, see what's happened is immediately post covid or post uh, lockdowns in china the market has exploded for personal mobility and there since as they were buying more expensive cars than we are in india the market is much much bigger for cars than it is in india people started swamping towards the ic engine cars now we already know this for a fact that you know if you're looking at equal performance between an ic and an electric at the same performance level uh, electric will always be more expensive to purchase the initial purchase and running cost may be lower but the initial purchase price is going to be much higher than that of a ic engine vehicle so if you have to so if you are getting out of a out of a recessionary time or a covid kind of a period time then people are already swamping towards getting small cars and small mobility vehicles and if there is no subsidy or if there is no push given by the government towards electric the chances are they could steer towards ic engine which is bringing china back into the same problem again which is reliant on oil pollution in the which they've been able to control to a great deal in the past decade of using electric so which is that is the reason why they are pushing the customers to switch towards electric rather than towards ic and that is why reintroduction of subsidies have come into play